Hey everyone, USMC if I hear guys, bring you guys another commentary. This is actually the beginning to my series, really. This is my first installment of my series known as, yes, the one and the only MOAB Mondays. That's right, every Monday I decide, you know, I couldn't find a sponsor channels and honestly I'm tired of sponsor channels. I'm just gonna post on my channel for now on everything that I want, because I can do anything. That I want to on my channel. But this is the beginning of my series. MOAB Monday, Monday, Monday. So please stay tuned for my series. I get an MOAB with every gun in the game. Yes, snipers and shotguns are included. No pistols and possibly a riot shield. Today I got for you some sick. This is right. This is probably one of a kind right here. An L86 light machine gun MOAB. Now that is, pro that is impossible. It was really hard for me to do. Actually, no, it wasn't, because this gun's a boss. This gun is beast, and I rape kids all day, every day with this gun. So, no, I don't. I don't. I, I actually, I played this game for probably, like, 45 minutes with this gun before getting it. It was surprising that I got it so quick. But, hey, it's whatever. Anyways, so, now, for another thing that's going to come along soon, and this, I'm just going to give you guys a couple updates before I give you guys a story, because on every MOAB Monday, I'm going to bring you a story also. So, um, on Wednesday, I'm gonna start my other. I'm gonna start two more series this week. On Wednesday, it's gonna be my series of me playing other games besides Call of Duty. You know, anything of a creative name for that? If you guys have any? Please leave a comment. But yeah, it's gonna be like my first game is gonna be me playing Halo, and I don't play Halo very much. I have the games, and I beat the campaigns because campaigns are awesome. But I do not play Halo. And then, so that's gonna be coming out every Wednesday, and then on Friday. I'm going to be coming out with another series, which is GBs. So every Friday, I'm going to have a GB game posted. And, you know, just trying to teach you guys how to get better. Um, this Friday, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have some Black Ops doubles. Uh, the reason why I'm having Black Ops is because I don't feel quite comfortable doing Modern Warfare 3 yet. I haven't really found a good partner yet for Modern Warfare 3. So me and my friend who's who doesn't really play Modern Warfare 3 much but plays a lot of Black Ops still, uh, me and him are going to partner up and do some Black Ops GBs. So, look, you know, guys, look forward to that. It's coming up soon. So I just hope you guys... We'll stick around and watch the rest of my series. And now this is a lot of posting for me. Three times a week, you know. It's like, well, where's this coming from? You know, the guy who would post, you know, maybe once a week is now posting three times a week. And that's because I'm devoting myself to you guys. You guys, my subscribers. I'm going to make sure that I have content out to you guys uh, consistently. Twice, I want it out three times a week at least. Maybe even four times depending on the situations. Anyways. So... Um, what else do I want to talk about here? Okay, so I guess I'll just jump right into my story right now. So, my first story is going to be on my experiences driving. Now, I'm a fairly new driver. I'm only 17. But, and I just recently received my license, like, um, probably two months ago. But I've had some crazy experiences before. And by the way, sorry for this whole restart right here. It's because the game lagged out and it was like, uh, so dragging, and I was like, uh, so I had to cr crop it out and crap, and it was just a little obnoxious and annoying. But anyways, so, back to my story here. So, my story is about, one day, I was driving with my permit with my dad, my fatherly figure, and, um, we were driving along a dusty pathway, and suddenly... A homeless figure appeared down the road. So, you know, no big deal. I just drove along, drove along, until this guy jumped in front of my car. I slammed on the brakes. And this guy is, like, pounding on the front of my... Or almost pounding on the front of my hood. He's, like, stomping his foot, like... Oh, my God! You almost hit me, you stupid son of a bitch! You think you're on the road and blah, 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 blah. So then, you know, my dad immediately gets into, like, he, in a cuss war with him. He doesn't jump out of the car, but he gets into a cuss war. And, and the homeless guy just completely freaks out. I mean, this guy is just, like, on cocaine or something, man. He's, like, cracked out of his mind. It was, he was, like, just tired of society itself or something. He's, like, I'm tired of all these goddamn people hogging up the road. When I didn't do anything wrong, he literally jumped into the middle of the street in front of my car, and I had to slam on the brakes. And he's like, oh, you almost hit me, oh, you bastard, and oh, I'm mad, oh, 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 homeless man rage. Anyway, so, 
After about a four minute confrontation with this crazy crackhead homeless man, we decided, hey, you know, let's get the hell out of here. So my dad's like, just go around him. So we went around him. I, there was a, a roundabout on, all the way at the end of the street. So we, I got out of the car on the roundabout. My dad hopped in. And my dad gave him the kind bird gesture, gesture in America that we use to say, oh, um, have a nice day. So he gave him the nice bird gesture on the way by. But, you know, th that's just a story I've had. That I just, it's just a story I'm gonna remember forever. One of my first times driving, and a crazy psychotic homeless man jumps in front of my car like a crazy psychotic crackhead, and is just starts going on a rant about society. You do not see that every day. So that's just a story that odds are you're not gonna see very many people having at all. Like, what are the odds of my like second time driving? having some crazy mofo jump in front of my car and begin to go on a rant about everything that was wrong with his life. And here's the funniest part, funniest part about this. So my dad, you know, he owns his own business and he, he does work for um, the local police station, police stations around here. And so we talked to one of the police officers about this guy, right? And the guy, and the police officer said, oh, that guy, yeah, we've been getting a lot of complaints about that guy. And that was just the icing on the cake right there. The fact that this guy has done it to other people, that this crazy guy is still out there, you know, is just ridiculous. And the police officer is like, well, there's no point in arresting him, you know, if he, like, he's a homeless man, so what the, he's just going to be living off the system. And I was just like, that's just hilarious that m more than one, more than one person have encountered this crazy guy. So, you know, I don't feel like I'm the only one who's in crazy, in, who's um, had to deal with this crazy guy. And, you know, it's just like, I, I think about it now, it's just funny how the whole event took place. Anyways, guys, so my commentary is wrapping up right here. I get the mob. M-O-A-B, M-O-A-B. Right there, boom. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Anyways, guys, please comment, rate, subscribe. I'm USMCFI. Hope you guys enjoy my series ideas. I'm out, guys, and please um, let me know what you think of my story. Peace. You always get bogus nubbles, dude. What the fuck?